Solar has passed 100% power demand in California, over 100%. And this has happened in conjunction with batteries now becoming the primary source of electricity in the evening peak between 6 to 9 p.m. when the sun has gone down. All this excess solar now is being used and California's grid is being rapidly transformed into one of the most advanced grids on the face of the earth. Who would have thought this would happen? Well, California thought it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Yeah, guys, California. You know what? Kudos to you guys. I am so impressed by what's happened here. And this is just the beginning. This is the very, very beginning. It's the tip of the iceberg because there are numerous, there are numerous new solar farms coming online, numerous new big batteries being installed. Within the space of probably five or six years, fossil fuels will have been, well, they will have the absolute shit kicked out of them in California. They'll be, they'll be literally crying. They'll be doing anything they can to, to try and not lose billions, but they're gonna lose it and there's nothing that they can do, it's too late. California has been a leader in the installation of solar power plants and wind power plants for many years. Despite its recent anti-rooftop solar shift, which has been weird through net metering 3.0, but anyway, this has led to more and more of its electricity generation coming from renewable energy. The trend says Clean Technica has been going on for years, but there are a couple of recent developments that are truly mind blowing. Record solar power in California increases have basically resulted in California passing 100% of power demand coming from solar. For 55 days in a row, electricity from solar, wind and hydropower exceeded 100% of power demand on California's main grid during parts of the day. Going back further, that has been achieved in 80 out of the last 87 days. 80 out of the last 87 days. That even includes uh, late winter. So since early March, late winter, says Clean Technica. This is an incredible story here, guys. You've got some uh, tweets here from Mark Z. Jacobson. He says, repetition turns a hypothesis into theory. The theory here is that we can consistently and increasingly supply clean, renewable energy to California's grid for 54 straight days and 78 of 84, wind, water, and solar supply exceeded 100% of demand during parts of the day. And this is like amazing. But what's even more amazing is that so much of this power is being stored to use during that peak period. That peak period, that's when often you have, what do you have? Well, you have the worst offenders here. You have these peaker plants. Elon Musk has been talking about this for years saying, the low hanging fruit, get rid of these pika plants. And that's what's happening. On Saturday, June the 1st, um, wind, water and solar exceeded demand for 8.7 hours, peaking at 136.4%. Now, that 136.4% in the past, you'd see that and go, oh, that kind of sucks because that means all we, we had a whole bunch of wasted electricity because you're over 100%, right? What's the point? Well, the point is now they've got the batteries to soak up all that extra electricity, it's not wasted at all. How cool is that, right? Anyhow, California produced a record 203.7 gigawatt hours. Previous record was 197.7, um, in which wind, water, and solar exceeded demand for, I believe, 8.2 hours. You're picking at that 134%. So as you can see, solar power is providing 102.1% of electricity demand in California over a long period of time. Together, wind, hydro and water and solar peaked at 136.4%. So this is incredible progress because this is really, like I said, just the beginning. The best news is California is quickly um, chopping the duck curve down to size. The duck curve is, well, it's the peak. You know, it's showing you, oh, great during the middle of the day, we got all this solar, but in the evening, everyone comes home from work, and all of a sudden we need fossil fuels because, um, well, there's no more sun. But there is, because all that sun is stored in some of these massive batteries in California. But these numbers are gonna get better. We already know that batteries are now the number one source of electricity in California's peak, peak between 6 to 9 p.m. But not only are they the number one, that will increase over the next five years to the point where they become probably the only source in combination with a, a small amount of uh, hydro and also some wind generation. That's all there's gonna be. Uh, within probably five years time, by 2030, 
there will be no fossil fuels on California's grid at all. That's what I'm predicting will happen. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think. So the solution for the duck curve, right? is clear it's battery storage store that bursting solar energy produced in the middle of the day and gradually use it in the evening as the sun goes down and electricity demand rises people turn their air conditions on when they get home from work etc the good news california has been making progress on this incredibly fast if you look at this graph you can see electricity generation from natural gas and you can see the line from 2023 versus the line for 2024 it's incredible. So this duck curve is already being flattened in California as a result of this battery storage. Now batteries are taking charge and they're solving this crisis and it's very intriguing because electricity prices, some people counter positive news about California's renewable energy progress by bringing up California's relatively high electricity prices. Now, this is not from renewables. Research has shown that renewable energy drives down electricity prices, not just in California, but everywhere. Everywhere, anywhere in the world where renewable energy is the main source of energy, prices actually come down. Research has shown that this is the case in numerous countries. There are other things that result though in high electricity prices in California. And Mark Z. Jacobson says this, California electricity prices are high because California has the third highest fossil gas prices in America, and utilities have passed on to customers costs of San Bruno plus Aliso Canyon gas disasters, retrofitting gas pipes, wildfires from transmission parks, undergrounding lines, and keeping Diablo Canyon nuclear open. They're the key reasons why electricity prices have not come down in California. Those costs are being passed on to you guys who live there. The overall story is that California renewable energy continues to lead the way forward, says Clean Technica, and says many experts as well. Solar power is peaking at more than 100% of electricity demand on most, no, nearly every day. Renewables as a whole are peaking at 134% of electricity demand. That extra energy is being stored in batteries. The duck curve is being shaved down to almost no curve at all. And it's only a matter of a few years from now before fossil fuels are eliminated in California, in California and we'll see a significant reduction in electricity prices. This is just fantastic news, guys. Makes me smile to see this stuff. I hope you like it too. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.